Hello Luminaires Blau aka Kobe are coming out with another online tutorial today we're going to be talking about the highly important twitch points feature. In 5.2 we've automated the process to make it extremely simple to create a twitch point. When you create a twitch point in Lumia stream it will now automatically add it to your twitch channel. It would also fulfill the request as the users redeem it and it'll refund them if the user's request does not match the specified criteria. Twitch points is available in both the starter and premium versions of Lumia Stream, but in the starter version, you'll limit it to only five channel points. So grab your lights and let's light up your stream. So when you first load up Lumia Stream, you're gonna be brought to your dashboard. Your dashboard is gonna have a tool called commands over here on the left side. You're gonna click commands and you'll see Twitch points. Here is where you'll see all of your Twitch points you've already created, but if you're starting from scratch, you'll only see red, green, and blue. But we're gonna create a new one called Emerald. So I'm gonna come over here and add a command. I'm gonna add command. I'm gonna call this Emerald. I'm gonna change that to Emerald color. Press done. And I'm gonna change these points to about 200. Set the duration over here for 20 seconds. Or let's do 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Transition is fine. And I want my user levels to be pretty much anyone. This is fine. So I'm going to apply this because as for my lights, if you don't drag anything in the lights, then all of your lights will be selected. So this is it for me. This is exactly what I want. I don't want to turn on my key light or anything. I just want to keep it just like this. So let's press apply and you'll see automatically it will link to your channel. If it doesn't link to your channel automatically, you may have to go back to connections and you will have to reconnect your Twitch channel to make sure that you have all your permissions for Twitch points. So I'm gonna go back to Twitch points. One other thing you need to check is global settings to make sure your global state is on for Twitch points. Make sure this is to the right and make sure your type is direct. We recommend always using direct for now because we will automatically handle everything, but if it's generic, we cannot automatically handle everything. So we recommend using direct. So it's on direct and global state is on and my point is linked. And this at two points rather than 200 points. So let me go back here and change that. So 200 points, press apply and now you'll see 200 points. So if I refresh this, I'll go to my Twitch channel and I'll go to my points. You'll now see the Twitch points automatically was created. This wasn't here before, it says brand new. It has 200 points. It even pulls in the color that I'm using for this redemption. So if I redeem it right now, you'll see that all my lights turn emerald. Perfect, that easy. You'll also see that if we go to my request queue, you'll see that emerald doesn't have anything in the request. That's because Lumia already fulfilled it and it, it was automatic. And if I didn't have the correct user levels, it will refund me my money as well just so I can use it for something else that I can use it for. That use case has something to do if you have like a different user level, like say you only wanted your tier three subs to be able to use this, then that would be useful for something like this, where if you're a tier one sub or even a regular user tries to redeem this, then they'll want their money back because they didn't know that it was just for tier three subs. So we'll try it out because I'm not a tier three sub on my own channel, right? So you don't even see it coming up here. So if I press Emerald, I press redeem, and it will try to redeem it. And if we go to our queue, you will see that there's nothing in Emerald. That's because it was refunded as well. And then you see my lights didn't go off that time. So I'm going to turn this back to all, every user level. And we are going to go from here. So this was creating a Twitch point very simply, very easily. So we do want to touch on, you know, using interactives because if you're using a Twitch point where you wanted to use like a global generic, you know, Twitch point, you don't want to have all these different colors. You'll see I have two different interactives right here. I have hex and color. I'm going to delete these to start them from scratch and explain what they are. So if I delete these, you'll also see if I refresh, it'll be deleted from my Twitch channel as well. So you won't see hex and color show up either here. Yes, because everything's handled automatically with Lumia. And if you're coming from an older version where you did have to create all your channel points, you may want to delete them from Twitch and then recreate them inside of Lumia Stream, just so Lumia Stream has control. Because if you create it within Twitch, Lumia is not going to have control of it. And yeah, you can edit it and everything, but you cannot have the initial creation be from Twitch. So we are going to add a command. I'm going to call this command color. It's going to be kind of my uh, wild card. So if I want chat to be able to use, you know, any type of color, like especially for my tier two subs or tier three subs, then I'm going to select the type as interactive and I'm going to set the value as a color. 
Now, these colors are from a list of things that we've chosen. You try to tackle pretty much every color you could think of. I'm going to set this for 100 points. And I want pretty much everyone to redeem it right now while I'm testing. So you'll see color right here. I'll refresh, go back to my Twitch channel, and you'll see color show up right here. So now you'll see the description saying, type in a color name of your choice to redeem, example, aqua. To see a full list of colors, check here. So we're gonna go to this link. And you'll see the full list of colors we have. We have Alice Blue, Cyan, Agua. You know, it's, it's translated in different languages. We try to hit every color we can think of. Azul, Blue, Violet. I'm gonna try, I don't know how to say that, excuse my. <laughs> so you've seen how quick that was. It changed all my colors. All I did was put in the Carmesi color. I just copied it from here. I can also do something like, see how dark sea green looks. I'm going to redeem the color here. And you'll see it also, you know, change that dark sea green. Cool. So it's that simple if you want to tie to interactives. Now, interactives is a premium only feature. So that's only going to be, you know, allowed for our premium users. There's also hex, like say, if you didn't want to just use a regular color, I'm going to create another chat command. I could call it whatever I want. It doesn't have to be called hex. I can call it a uh, wild card. And the type needs to be interactive. That's the important part and value needs to be hex. So if I do this again, I'm going to set this for 10 seconds again and apply it. So if I go back to my Twitch channel, you'll see wild card show up. So we have green. So we're going to do FF and then we're going to do zero, zero. So this is red, green, blue, and I'm going to trigger this after my hue is over. There we go. So the green color. And that's it. So that's using interactives with Twitch points because you may not want to create every color you could think of for your Twitch points. You may just want a wild card, uh, whether that's hex or just, you know, generic colors. And that's about it. That wraps up Twitch points. Twitch points is extremely easy to use. You can also import chat commands if you want. Say you've already created some things like I created a Nemo chat command earlier in a different tutorial. So I'm going to pull this over. And when I pull it over, it doesn't automatically link. So I got to click this. And now it's linked. And if I go to my Twitch channel, you will see Nemo sitting right here. If I redeem it, this is my theme that I created in the studio themes tutorial. And it was that simple. You can also, you know, import from Twitch extensions as well. You can import from Trovo spells, uh, you know, anything you can use a command with all, everything you see over here on the left side, you can import for another one. And that wraps up Twitch points. We're glad you all joined the movement of lighting up your stream and we hope to see you in the next tutorials and we hope you have a luminous day.